Greetings from the R, IRS Reddit community. The Internal Revenue Service reaches out in multiple ways to educate taxpayers while ensuring it enforces the nation's tax laws. There are important factors to remember when the IRS may initiate direct contact with a taxpayer. The IRS provides many payment options for people who owe taxes to help taxpayers meet their obligations. The IRS offers several options for those struggling to pay in full by the deadline. For example, most individual taxpayers qualify for a payment plan. Taxpayers can use the IRS online payment agreement to set up an installment agreement helping ease paying off an outstanding balance. When a tax issue, such as an unpaid bill or a question about their taxes, people typically receive multiple letters from the IRS. Most IRS contacts with taxpayers are through regular mail from the United States Postal Service. However, there are limited circumstances when the IRS comes to a home or business as part of a collection investigation, an audit, or an ongoing criminal investigation. IRS employee training focuses on respecting taxpayer rights, and they will always carry two forms of identification. IRS employees who may visit outside an IRS office include revenue officers, revenue agents, and IRS criminal investigation special agents. Revenue officers are IRS civil enforcement employees who work to resolve compliance issues such as unfiled returns and or taxes owed. These in-person visits may be unscheduled to share information, inform taxpayers of their tax filing and payment obligations, and work with taxpayers to resolve their tax issues and bring them into compliance. They conduct interviews to gather financial information and provide taxpayers with the necessary steps to become and remain compliant with the tax laws. Revenue agents usually conduct in-person field audits normally at the taxpayer's home, place of business, accountant's office, or the location of the organization's financial books and records. Revenue agents will make contact via mail or phone before any visit. Revenue officers and agents always carry two forms of official credentials with serial numbers and photos. Remember, taxpayers should know they have a tax issue before these visits occur since multiple mailings occur. IRSCI special agents investigate potential criminal violations of the Internal Revenue Code and related financial crimes. IRSCI's investigative jurisdiction includes tax, money laundering, and Bank Secrecy Act laws. IRSCI special agents always present their law enforcement credentials when conducting investigations. IRSCI may visit a taxpayer's home or business unannounced during an investigation. How to report impersonation scams Suppose someone doesn't have a previously known tax issue and suspects someone is trying to impersonate an IRS employee. There are various options to report phone, email, and other impersonation scams. Links to report impersonations and other scams will be in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching, and good luck!